Okay, so on to the initial base coat. I'm actually going to do the cloak first, even though you know, typically do cloaks last. Because it is, on this model at least, the innermost layer. So, my base coat starting with Vallejo model color intense blue. Uh, thin this down about one to one. So it's probably not going to hide terribly well on this first coat. Which is okay again. Like I said, you can always just do another pass. Not the end of the world. Don't be one of those guys that tries to glop on paint. Just make sure that your coats are nice and even. And you should be fine. So, I'm actually cutting in here across the edges of the model. There's this deep little crevice in here. The shoes are kind of sculpted in. So, I'm going to have to get in here. Careful not to hit that flesh that you just worked so hard on. That would suck. Not the end of the world again. You can fix that. But, I don't know. <clears throat> you should at least try to stay clean while you're, you're painting stuff up. So let me get this base coat down. So, I normally start, if uh, Intense Blue is my desired endpoint, I normally start with something like uh, GW Necron Abyss, but uh, in this case, my endpoint is going to be somewhere between Light Blue and True Blue, so Intense Blue is not a bad starting point. Base coat's definitely going to require a couple passes, though. That's the that's the trade-off for working with such intense colors. But I, like I said in another video, I'm a big fan of intense colors. And I know that's not a very realistic type of painting style, but I love it. I love when you have a nice bright color scheme and it just grabs people uh, when they're looking at it. So cut in there. Nice little silhouette going. So yeah, this model is going to be like a, a blue-violet kind of like the the studio version although I'm probably going to go with a, a little simpler yet colorful rendition um let me finish up the base coat of the blue and I'll be right back okay intense blue down now I'm going to go with a, a lighter blue a much lighter blue in fact uh, mixed a little bit of the light blue in with this intense blue and I'm going to start my highlighting. This is going to be a big highlight so because this next highlight is really going to be like one of the main colors if not the main color of the cloak. So I'm going to take that in. 
Um, gonna do about 80 percent on this. A little more water. When your brush is chattering like that, see how the, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, the lines aren't very smooth. You need to add more water. So a little bit more water, get things to flow. There we go, much better. And you really, for me, I really only want just almost like a hairline of that intense blue showing because the intense blue is just really just a shadow so see I've got most of this color is now going to be, be a, a much lighter blue um, I'll stop right here and show you the next step. Alright, this color is down. Uh, time to step it up and continue to highlight. Now, I'm not going to show you the next couple steps because um, all I'm really going to be doing is adding more white to my mix and then um, highlighting the higher and higher parts of the model. So, um, let me go forward two steps and I'll show you guys what that looks like down to the final highlight on the cloak which is I took my blue mixture that I had basically worked up to light blue and I uh, instead of adding white I actually took white and took a drop of my mixture and added that to it and that is only going to go on the the very edges here so let me uh, knock this out and I'll show you the the finished cloak. Okay, cloak done. Uh, now I'm going to start on the inside clothing. That's going to be a base coat of sunset red, and I'm going to just give that a minor highlight because I really don't want too much going on there with the sunset red. Um, but I'll be right back. Sunset Rose is, or Sunset Red, I should say, is down. Next step, I'm going to wash this with uh, some Leviathan Purple, or Ball, actually I'm going to go, yeah, I'm going to do so Leviathan Purple, wash it, and then come back again with that uh, Sunset Red. Okay, I had to speed things up, because, uh, I've got to get ready to go to a New Year's Eve party, and my wife is bugging me to get ready. So, I'm sure you guys understand how that's going. Uh, let me show you how far I've gotten, and I'm trying. I'm going to try to finish this up before I have to hop in the shower and get out of here. So, um, <clears throat> whoa. let's get some lighting. Okay, so the pink I did, uh, that sunset red color, um, the little stitchings there were basalt gray, which I washed with Bad Ab Black. Uh, the hair is really just Leviathan Purple ink, and the goggles and the gold that you see, the little gold trim, is some non-metallic metal, just uh, <clears throat> yellow ochre with a... Uh, Griffin sepia wash found a little patch of skin there that I had to do which is not looking so hot I may have to touch that up, but uh, for the most part the model itself is done I'm gonna go on to basing and uh, We'll see you guys at the finish line. Thank you So here we are at the finish line total painting time about three hours um, Since I had to finish quickly. I did a very fast uh, base with some gravel um, a little bit of dried grass and some snow. Um, probably go back and change that at some point. I just wanted to finish the model uh, quickly enough and in time for the video. 
Um, let's look at the close-up. Um, not a bad figure. I I really like um, just kind of the pose and um, just the elements to this figure really nice. Uh, so the face looks pretty good. I mean, I could probably try to improve that a little bit, but uh, I'm overall I'm pretty happy with it. So anyway, that's it for this session. Hope that you enjoyed um, painting alternate Rasputina with me, and uh, like I said earlier, we're going to move on to a bigger project, so I will talk to you guys next time, and Happy New Year. Thank you.